Hallelujah. To all our pastors uh, present, God bless you all for uh, we, we, are, we are so thankful to God for your life and for all that the Lord is doing through you. Uh, all the church leaders, church workers uh, for, from whatever department, God bless you for your doing. We appreciate you all. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to thank our mama as well that I heard from back who was actually welcomed. Uh, uh, thank you for coming and being with us from Ohio. May God bless you. And may he continue to do one does with your life and your family. Hallelujah. Amen. And also our brother uh, evangelist uh, Paumbeni. We are so thankful to see you again. Hallelujah. Amen. And we've also we've been happy to hear you've moved to Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> so God bless you and continue to use you. So this is your home. Uh, this is, is a family of God. Uh, feel free as the Lord leads you. Hallelujah. And to the whole church, we are so thankful to see you again. It's such a blessing to see each one of you today. Hallelujah. God bless you and continue to empower you more. As you continue to move from glory to glory. And from strength to strength. Amen. Amen. Now, I want to share something before we leave this place. Uh, a few years ago, I visited a church somewhere around Phoenix, Arizona here. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was in 2016. And, uh, yes. and then we had a very wonderful service. And there was this man of God who was invited from Kenya. So he was not originally from Kenya, but he lived in Kenya. And he used to save in Kenya. And he was privileged to be invited to come and speak here in Phoenix, Arizona. So after service, and the service was so wonderful, he ministered and the ministration was so good. Uh, after service, I know most of the time when we have new, you know, pastors, preachers, everybody want to say hi to them and all that. So people want some new blessings. Hallelujah. Uh, which is not bad, it's a good thing. So people were going to him. Were saying hi. Uh, I don't know what, you know, you can express yourself the way you want when you meet somebody. So, but something touched me so much. Uh, I think about two to three people came to me and asked me a question. And I said, Pastor, we have a question to ask. And I said, what kind of question is that? He said, no, do you see the pastor who came? So we went to greet him and each time we will greet him, uh, he will accept our greetings. And then when we say, God bless you, and he will say, you cannot bless me. 
Yeye ule mchungaji anawajibu watu wewe hauwezi kanibariki. Hello. And he said you cannot bless me. Anawaambia watu wewe hauwezi kanibariki. And people were surprised because you know as believers Christians we all use about God bless you God bless you God bless you. Kaona watu wanashangaa kabisa kwa sababu kama wa Kristo tunazoea kusema Mungu akubariki. And especially a country like America uh, bless you bless you is in the month of everybody. Hapa kwa America watu wanasema sana barikiwa barikiwa barikiwe. So even Satan is the whole is bless you bless you everybody. Hata na mbamu abudu Mungu wanazidi kusema Mungu akubariki. So one of the ladies Sasa mtu mmoja So she wants to know why I cannot bless you pastor. Sasa huyu mwaminifu akashangaa akataka ajue kwa nini mimi siwezi nikamwambia mtumishi Mungu akubariki. And the, the pastor told this woman. Huyu mchungaji akamwambia huyu mama. You cannot bless me. Hauwezi kanibariki. I am the one to bless you. Mimi ndio kukubariki. Because I am the father and you are a child. Akasema kwa sababu mimi ni baba na wewe ni mtoto. Amen. Are we together? So and this they were just bothered by this why how how na haya mambo yakawahuzunisha sana so when it, when, it, when it came to my attention wakati ambapo ilikuja kwangu uh with what i know kwa yale ambayo ninajua i just told them i don't know why he told do that nikawaambia sijui kwa nini aliwaambia hivyo but i don't think there's anything wrong to do with blessing the elderly person Nikasema mimi sioni vibaya mtoto abariki mtu mkubwa. Hallelujah. Amen. Now as time start going. Wakisi nyakati ziliendelea. So that page was covered. We never the that was done. Because was a, was a guest just did his work and he went back. Yeye alikuwa tu mgeni akapoka. As time mind. passed by. Kisi muda uliendelea. Uh somewhere somehow I came to hear another speaker preacher somewhere. Nikasikia tena mwingine mhubiri tena. Uh who said You cannot bless God. It is only God who can bless you. I don't know maybe some of you you also here you have that kind of belief I don't know. He said you cannot bless God. But it's only God who can bless you. And also at the same time he said you cannot bless uh, your father only your father can bless you. Na akasema tena wewe hauwezi kubariki baba yako lakini baba yako ndiye ambaye ataweza kukubariki. So then I began to remember this message of this other pastor who told this woman that they cannot bless him. Nikakumbuka tena ule mhubiri ambaye aliambia wale wadada eti hauwezi mkanibariki mimi ndio kuwabariki. So it led me to start going through researches and understand the scriptures. Nikanifanya sasa nianze kuingia ndani ya maandiko ili nielewe hili jambo. That is something I want to share with you this evening. Na hii ndio mbaya nataka tuzungumze jioni ya leo. Hallelujah. Amen. And I will entitle my message Can a man bless God? Ah uh, nitatia kichwa cha neno atakuwa mwanadamu ataweza akabariki Mungu. Can a man bless God? Mwanadamu ataweza akabariki Mungu? And the answer is big yes. Na jibu ni kweli ya ndio kubwa sana. Can I amen in the house? Amen. Can a man bless God? Mwanadamu ataweza akabariki Mungu? And my answer is big yes. Jibu langu ni ndio kubwa sana. Now let's go down to Psalm 34 verse number 1. For those who are privileged to have what we call English standard version. Wale ambao wanaitwa kitabu cha Biblia ya English standard version. It says I will bless the Lord at all times. Anasema eti nitambariki Mungu kwa nyakati zote. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Anasema sifa zake zitazidi kuwa ndani ya kinywa changu. So I repeat again. He said I will bless the Lord at all times. Anasema eti nitambariki Mungu kwa nyakati zote. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Now this is David speaking. 
This is a man speaking. And it says, I will bless the Lord. Not only now. Not, not only today. Not only tomorrow. But at all times. All times simply means now. After, after now. Tomorrow. After tomorrow. And forever. I will be blessing the Lord. That means a man can bless God. Can I amen? amen? That means a man can bless God. But let's go down and see the three things to understand of blessing. Number one, blessing of God to men. Blessing of men to God. And the blessing of men to men. So these are three things that I want you to understand. I'm, I'm not just reading you a scripture. But I want us to go with the understanding of blessing. Because remember our title is. Can a man bless God? Look at somebody next to you. And ask the person. Can a man bless God? Ask somebody next to you. Can you bless God? What is the answer? Ask somebody again. Can you bless the Lord? The answer is yes. Men can bless God. But I want you to understand these three things when it comes to blessing. Now, number one is the blessing of God to men. And number two is the blessing of men to God. Men to God. And the last one is the blessing of men to men. Now, let's go down and see. What does, me, what does it mean God bless men? When God blesses men, when God blesses men, Hallelujah. Amen. Before that, let's go. Let's just look at the meaning of God blessings. To recognize his great, let's go down, is to recognize his great riches. Strength and gracious bounty, and to express our gratitude before the Lord. That means when you say you are blessing God, you are recognizing his great riches. Is to acknowledge his abundant love. Is to acknowledge the doings of the Lord. So that's why you are blessing him for his wonders of who he is. In acknowledgement of all that the Lord is doing in our daily lives. We had mama gave a testimony and say, I am thankful to God for keeping me in marriage for 16 years. So, you, you can bless the Lord just because of that. I say, Lord, I bless you for keeping my marriage. Because there are those who could not stay in it for one year. There are 
There are those who could not even remain in it for three years. But mine now has been 16 years. Even though there have been up and downs, but yet you remain God. I bless you. I bless you. God, I bless you. Father, I bless you. So when, when a man blesses God, you are acknowledging the great riches of God. You acknowledge the power of God. Now let's go down and see now when God blesses <laughs> what does it mean God blesses man? It simply means men are helped and strengthened. And is made better if more than how they were before. So that, that, that's a different. I want you to understand these two things. Remember, we talked about the blessing of God to men and the blessings of men to God and the blessing of men to men. So, when, when, when you as a man, you are blessing God, you are acknowledging. Are we together? Mm. You are acknowledging. But when God blesses man, there is nothing God is acknowledging from you. He's simply helping you. And he's strengthening, he's strengthening you. And he's trying to make you better than you were. So that's why, that's why God blesses you. Now let's go down and see the difference. Let's see the difference and see. To honor to faulty. He said, when 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 man blesses God, they are not helping God or strengthening God. So that means when you are help, you are blessing God. You are not helping God. You are not strengthening Him. But when God blesses you, when God blesses me, He helps me and strengthens me. So He makes me better than I am. Hallelujah. He makes me better than I am. So that's why we always say, I need God's blessing. I need, I need God's blessings. Simply means, I need God's help. I need, I need God to strengthen me. Why? Because in some areas of life, you are weak. And you need the strength from God. Now, man blessing. God is an expression of praise and thankfulness. So, don't, don't take these two blessings the same. And that's why I begin to understand when a man says you cannot bless God, it's because he does not understand the difference between blessing God and blessing man. We don't bless God that we give him because God is lacking something. But God blesses us because we are lacking and we need something. Expressing uh, what we call a praise and thankfulness to God for who he is and what he's doing. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And men to men is blessings is simply to support each other. Wanadamu kwa wanadamu kubariki mwenzake inakuwa manake kumsaidia mwenzako wala kumtia nguvu kumwinua mwenzako. 
As the Bible said that those that are strong, they should have those that are weak. Is to wish them well. Is to wish them, you know, going where God wants to take them. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Now let's look at how to bless God. How do we bless God? Number one, by words of expression. Lord, I bless you. I have somebody saying you can't say God, I bless you. Lord, I bless you. I came to correct that. You can bless God with the word of expression. Lord, I bless you. Just as David blessed the Lord. Hallelujah. You can bless the Lord by giving an offering to him through his work. Can I amen? Amen. You can bless the Lord by giving an offering to him through his work. Whatever you give to God does not go to heaven. I want you to know that. But whatever you give to God, it helps work. And only that, when you do that, you are blessing the Lord. Anything you do to his work, it blesses the Lord. Number three, we bless the Lord by a sacrifice of work. You may not have an offering to give. Maybe you are those who are not good in talking. You can't express it by your mouth. But you can express that by the works of sacrifice. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, just simply because of what God is doing. And you decide to save God. If there's maybe a department in the church that is dying. And you tell yourself, God, because of what you have done for me. I will bless you. And I will make sure that department will rise. God feels blessed. Oh, I don't hear you again. <laughs> God feels blessed. By the sacrifice of our work. The work that we do to support his ministry. It's another way to bless the Lord. Number four. By any other way you choose. You can decide yourself. You can say today, the whole service will just be beating my hands. I'll just be beating my hand to bless the Lord. Uh, even when others are doing something else, he will just do that. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, yeah, so today will be jumping, jumping, and everybody, uh, everybody does it. What is, what is going on? This sister, she doesn't used to be jumping, jumping. But why? Because simply there is something God has done. And you feel to express and think and bless him for what he has done for you. Because what he has done, not everybody can understand it. Woo! Not everybody can understand but only you alone understand what God has done. And because of that, you can bless the Lord and thank Him and express it. You can express it by the way you do. 
And everybody will see that God has done something. Woo! Even before you stand here and give all the testimony, we will just be looking and say, ah, something is going on with this one. There's something going, there's something going on this person. Why? Because there's an expression of blessing. Hallelujah. There's an expression of blessing. So I am blessing my God for what he has done. I am blessing my God for the victory that is given me. Even when battles are rising day and night. But yet I know that the battles are not mine. But that the Lord is. I say, Father, I bless you. Lord, I bless you for all you are doing. For taking care of my battles. Oh, for fighting all my enemies. Because I have no power of my own. I have no strength of my own. I have no weapons in my hands. But I know you are God of all armies. And you are fighting the battles. Lord, I bless you. Father, I bless you. Jesus, I bless you. I bless you for what you are doing. I felt what you, what you have done. And I bless you for what you continue to do. Because I know you never put to shame. Those are put to trust in you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Reference scriptures the last. Reference scriptures, some more scriptures. These ones with your time, you can read them. Yeah, Psalm, Psalm, Psalm 34, verse number one. He said, I'll bless the Lord at all times. <laughs> I said, I'll bless the Lord at all times. Psalm 100, verse number four. He said, I will enter his gate with thanksgiving. Means I will enter there thanking him and blessing the Lord. Father, I thank you that today I come in your house because of what you have done and what you continue to do in the name of Jesus. Psalm 145, verse number 10. He said, All you have made will bless you. All you have done will bless you. All that the Lord has done will bless him. So, and we believe that everything belongs to God. When you read Psalm 24, uh, which is not there, Psalm 24, the Bible says, the world belongs to God and all that is in the world. So that simply means anything we have it is made by God. Even if it was made by a white man but it is God who gave the white man the brain to do it. So by then you begin to declare that when you read that Psalm 145 verse number 10 he said all you have made we bless you. My life will bless you. My family will bless you. My money will bless you. My car will bless you. My business will bless you. Everything begins to bless the Lord. Now, do you see that it's not only man who can bless God. But everything else can bless God. Even your own car can bless God. I don't hear you. Hallelujah. Psalm 103. Verse number 2. He said, Bless the Lord, all my soul. Bless the Lord, all my soul. And forget not his benefits. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, 
and all that is within me. Praise his holy, holy name. He is the great thing. Hallelujah. He is the great thing. Hallelujah. He is the great thing. Bless his holy, holy name. Psalm 96, verse number 2 to 3. He said, bless his name and tell of his passion. Anytime you remember what the Lord has done for you, his salvation in your life for taking you out of darkness and bringing you into light. You have the reason to bless the name of the Lord. I said, Lord, I bless you for delivering me. I bless you for taking me out of my enemy's hand. And let the whole world know about it. Hallelujah. Amen. I love this one. First Chronicles 29 verse number 10. The Bible said, then David Bless the Lord in the presence of all the saints. In another way, he blessed the Lord in the presence of the assembly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalm 145. One to two. And then we jump to 21. He says every day I will bless the Lord. Every day I will bless the Lord. That's what the Bible says. David blessed the Lord how many times? That was the routine of David seven times. Even when he's busy at work in the business, <laughs> he, can, he can miss it. And when the Bible writes it, it means he could not miss it. Seven times a day, I will bless your name. In the morning when he wake up, bless the Lord. After a few hours, he blesses the Lord again. Even when he's too busy to shift, he will still bless the Lord. Even when he's busy with the studies or anything, he will still bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord every day. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, this one, and let me finish with this one. Psalm 113. Verse number one and two. He said, Bless the Lord, you his servant. Now ask somebody next to you, are you a servant of God? <laughs> ask somebody, are you a servant of God? Ask somebody, don't be shy. Are you a servant of God? Some people are not asking because they are not, they are not even sure if they are or not. Now, maybe some of you think to be a servant of God you need to be a bishop. Uh, is that what you think? 
is to be a pastor. It's to be an evangelist. It's to be a singer. But let me tell you something. Every child of God is a servant of God. You've never shared the love of God with somebody, even at work. You've never told somebody Jesus loves you. That's simply that you are serving God. Don't you come and clean the church? Have you, have you never packed chairs for us to come and sit? Uh-huh. Now ask somebody, are you a servant of God? <laughs> Hallelujah. Now ask somebody, are you a servant of God? Now what are they saying? Huh? Okay, then tell them, bless the Lord. Tell, tell them one, bless the Lord. So if you are a servant of God, you are to bless the Lord. So in short, men can bless God. And God blesses man. And man blesses man. I say you are blessed in the name of Jesus. I say you are blessed in the name of Jesus. I say your family is blessed in the name of Jesus. Your business is blessed in the name of Jesus. I say you are blessed in the name of Jesus. Your studies is blessed in the name of Jesus. I bless you in the name of Jesus. Now you're going to stand up and begin to thank God for the blessings. And thank him for the knowledge and understanding. Thank him for what he's doing and what he will continue to do. And thank him for what you have done all the days of your life to bless him. Thank him for your life that has been a blessing to him. But your life has been a blessing to God. Because God is using you to touch this world. To touch this world. God is using you to touch souls around the world. 